Good morning. Our topic today for our catechesis before Master in this Eucharistic Revival is on extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion. Now the question arises of who is an ordinary minister of Holy Communion and who is an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion. Now the ordinary minister, meaning regular, are bishops, priests, and deacons. An extraordinary minister is a lay person who has been trained, formed, and commissioned for this ministry. In our diocese, to be an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion, you need to be a mature Catholic of at least 16 years of age, who has received the sacraments of baptism, first communion, and confirmation, be in good standing with the church, and have a strong understanding and profound love for the Eucharist. All ministers of Holy Communion are to show the greatest reverence for the Most Holy Eucharist by their demeanor, their attire, and the manner in which they handle the consecrated bread or wine. Now the general instruction of the Roman Missal says that in the distribution of communion, the priest may be assisted by other priests who happen to be present. If such priests are not present, and there's a truly large number of communicants, the priest may call upon extraordinary ministers to assist him that is, duly instituted acolytes, or even other faithful who have been duly deputed for this purpose. In case of necessity, the priest may depute suitable faithful for this single occasion. So distributing communion is proper to the ordained, but out of necessity with ordinary ministers lacking, the church invites others to assist the priest in carrying out this function. For Sunday Masses, if we have enough extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion, we are then able to offer communion under both species, that is, under the species of bread and wine. These commissioned lay individuals are also able to assist with taking communion to the sick or the homebound. They also may choose to only assist with distributing communion at Mass or only with taking communion to the sick. So I invite you to consider being an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion and helping your brothers and sisters receive our Lord in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist.